So part three of our little mini series here, heading down the coast with a couple of mates, uh, bringing a boat back down the coast of WA. Uh, from Broome to Geraldton, it's been bloody awesome so far. If you haven't seen the last couple of episodes, definitely check them out. We checked out the Montebello Islands and it was bloody amazing. Top notch little spot. But uh, this episode is gonna be the last in this little mini series where we are right now just coming around the corner of Exmouth, coming around the corner of Exmouth Gulf and uh, the weather's been absolutely amazing so far. It is starting to get a little bit of chop right now as we're heading down towards the, the Midwest of WA, which is, which is fairly usual, it suddenly does pick up. Um, but it's just been a bloody incredible trip so far. We've got a heap of fish. We can have 20 kilos of fish each by the time we get back there, which is bloody awesome. So we're filling up our freezers and yeah, it's just a bloody good trip so far. But anyway, this episode we're gonna be finishing up. We're gonna be doing a bit more fishing uh, boys have already got the lines out the back here, trawling. Hopefully we can get another couple of tuna or something, mackerel, that'd be great, maybe a wahoo. And uh, also gonna be stopping a couple of little spots and bottom bouncing as well, some fish. So anyway, it's been a, a bloody awesome little getaway this, much needed little holiday. And uh, great to spend some time away with some mates and see a heap of whales as well. Whales are everywhere up the coast. How cool is this? Not even five minutes ago we're out in the sunshine and it's just instantly turned to fog. That's incredible. It's just changed to fog or mist or whatever it is. I can see the blue sky up there. Light just instantly changed. That's um, something else, that. Eh? That's one of the yellow. That's the yellow. 
a bit like Spartacus, isn't it, with all the blood? <laughs> Somewhere over that way is land, but this is just incredible weather. Um, absolute mill pond out here. Bloody beautiful. Fish off. Fish on. Fish off. Fish back on. Oh. Shark on. Off, eh? Yeah, 
Liverpool. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Push it out. Those fingers look big. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, bright and early on, I believe, to be our last day on the boat here. Uh, we are expected into Geraldton tomorrow morning. But um, how's waking up to this? This is Dirk Hardog Island. And it's one of those places I've always wanted to get to, but it's just been so out of reach. It's uh, so expensive to get there. Uh, and it's just a bloody awesome spot. But we did start cruising past the north end of that around four o'clock this morning. So we couldn't really see, see the tip there, but still hoping this weather clears up a little bit. Some of this sea spray dies down and we can actually see Dirk Hard on a bit better. And maybe even see Steep Point. That'd be pretty, pretty cool. Whales. As soon as the cameras come out, they disappear. They both on. Seventeen, eighteen kilo. Eighteen nice kilo. Boy. Struggling there. Eighteen kilo, that one there. Beautiful fish. Big gallon. Yeah. Yeah, twenty. So I think we're done with trawling, are we? <laughs> 18 kilo on a 21.
big steak. Yeah. Yeah. So how good's that? We're starting to get a bit worried that um, coming around the Dirk Hardog hadn't got any fish all morning. And we're just sort of at the entry here, steep points over here, Dirk Hardog's here. Um, finally got on to two massive Wahoo, 20 kilo, 21 kilos and 18 kilo Wahoo. But bloody awesome. Awesome last day. We're on to our last, last fishing spot. Uh, we've got about, I think, 18 or 20 kilos of fish remaining that we can catch. But how is this? This is just incredible. Whales everywhere as well, knocking about. But um, oh, there they are. Seems to be once you get the camera out, they disappear.
was loads of them. That's just something else. Incredible cliffs. Whales here, whales out there. Whales over here. Bloody awesome. Any good? Wild. <laughs> They're everywhere. No monster. How good is this? Pulling into Geraldton. An absolute mill pond, perfect morning. To be finishing this trip. Bloody amazing this weather. Bloody incredible weather. The whole way down the coast. This is just awesome. Awesome way to finish.
Well, back home, back in the van, and that trip went way too quick. Um, bloody awesome trip, and it was very sort of hit and miss whether it was gonna happen with all that happened with the car. Um, but I'm, I'm just over the moon that I actually went for it, went on that trip. It was sort of a once in a lifetime little trip to go down the coast of WA, see the Monties, and fish the whole way down with some good mates. So, bloody awesome trip, and I can't thank Bronson and Jay from Eco Rollis enough. Just put on a real good show, just a bloody awesome trip. Um, but anyway, back at work, I've got another couple of weeks of work left and then we're hitting the road full time again. Uh, by the time this video goes up, I think I'll only have a couple of days of work left and then hooking up the van and leaving the farm and heading back to the coast where I'm gonna be picking Soch up from Brisbane and then we'll get back on the road. Um, no idea what we're gonna be seeing, where we're gonna be going, but we're just gonna play it like we used to play it and head down the coast and see what we see along the way. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Get excited for that. Not too long, we'll be back on the road full time. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Exmouth Gulf. Exmouth Gulf it is. Exmouth Gulf, we're just coming around. We can get a heap of fish today. Um, geez, I can't see a thing in these. What do you got? Oh, monster.